Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. NRL Wrap Round 6 Easter weekend sees an upset for the ages close finishes, come from behind wins, some questionable calls, and an upset for the ages. Let us recap all the brilliance and excitement that was the NRLS Round 6. North Queensland Cowboys 18, Canberra Raiders 12 This was definitely a game of two halves. The Cowboys beat the Raiders for the second time this season, with a come from behind 18-12 victory in the nation's capital on Thursday night. The Green Machine opened the scoring early though hooker Tom Starling, crossing untouched in only the third minute. Winger Jordan Rapana got his name on the board in the 15th minute, and the Raiders went to the sheds at half-time with a 12-0 lead. Canberra controlled the first half while the Cowboys made silly errors and gave away too many penalties. It all flipped on its head for the second half, something that is becoming all too familiar to Raiders fans. The visitors hit back first through Halem Luki, followed by Valentine Holmes to level the scores 12-12. Cowboys young gun Jeremiah Nanai who had a poor first half made up for it in the second stanza with a solid effort in defence as well as scoring what would be the winning try. It was Canberra's turn to make silly mistakes and give away cheap penalties, becoming their own worst enemy and getting completely dominated by the Cowboys. With another weak Raiders performance in the second half allowing a team back into the match, coach Ricky Stewart was ropeable. I am sick of defending playing 40 minutes of football. The way we started the second half was pathetic, he admitted in his post-match conference. South Sydney Raptors 36, Canterbury Bulldogs 16 South's hooker Damien Cook had a very good Friday, putting on a strong performance and scoring a hat-trick in his side's win against the Dogs. Cook's treble and a double from winger Alex Johnston put the Bunnies in good stead against a dogs pack that started strong but then lost their way. Despite crossing first in the 15th minute through Brent Naden, the wheels fell off for Canterbury after Jeremy Marshall King was controversially sent to the sin bin. Two of Cook's tries as well as one of Johnston's were scored while the dogs were down to 12 men, and they never recovered. Lachlan Ilias continues to grow as a halfback, Blake Taff was solid at fullback filling in for the injured lateral Mitchell, and Keenan Koloama Tanji had another huge impact up the middle. Canterbury once again showed plenty of heart, but still struggle put together a winning performance. Captain Josh Jackson put in another strong game despite being involved in a nasty head clash early on, and fullback Matt Dufty had a better day out than last weekend. Winger Josh Addo Carr finally scored his first try of the season, but I am sure he would have happily traded it for a win. Penrith Panthers 40, Brisbane Broncos 12 The Panthers just keep on rolling, now 6-0, adding the Broncos to their 2022 hit list after a dominant performance in front of their home crowd on Friday night. They showed why they are favoured to take out back-to-back -back premierships, scoring seven tries to two leading the possession with 56% and running for a combined 22.66 metres compared to Brisbane's 14.54 metres. Winger Talon May put in another top effort on the wing, running for 228 of his side's metres and crossing for a try. Captain Issa Yo once again led from the font, making the most tackles out of either side with 46. Fullback Dylan Edwards had another superb performance despite he and Bronco forward Keenan Palacia being sent to the sin bin for slapping each other in the face. Yep, slapping each other in the face. Adam Reynolds had a good hit out for the Broncos, with coach Kevin Waters saying he thought he had his best game for the club. Waters was happy with his side's performance despite the loss, focusing on the positives and adding their s better days ahead for the Broncos. Nathan Cleary was placed on report during the match for a dangerous tackle against Brisbane S. Billy Waters, but the charge was downgraded, and he received only a $1,000 fine. Broncos' Tacey Nui had a grade 3 hamstring tear and could miss 10 weeks with the injury. Manly Sea Eagles 26, Gold Coast Titans 18 After losing their first two matches of the season, Manly have hit their strides and notched up their fourth win in a row on Saturday night.
Manley took a dominate 24-4 lead into half-time on the back of some daily Cherry Evans and Kieran Foran brilliance. As they have done far too often this season, the Titans allowed their opposition to get a big head start, making the fight back difficult. They scored in the 51st, 58th and 66th minutes, but Toby Sexton could only convert one of his team's four tries. A 24-18 score line with 10 minutes left gave the visitors hope, but a penalty goal to Manley made it an eight-point game and made the win just that bit harder for.